Fernando Zobel was one of the leading proponents of modern art in the Philippines in the 1950s. In this early work by the artist, we quickly observe its flat perspective. The color palette consists of a few variations of blue, green, red-orange, black, and white. Figures are outlined with stark strokes of black paint. At first glance, one might say that the picture looks unfinished or even amateurish. We know from the artist's methods that he meticulously drew several preparatory sketches for his compositions until he is fully satisfied. A closer look at the composition shows us how Zobel brings our attention to focal points and capture the essence of this scene of Lenten season penitence. Against the light blue field stand several figures, almost of a uniform height, on a unified plane where there is no significant foreground nor background. The main subject of the scene, each of these figures, holds an upright staff or pole topped with an assortment of images that relate to the Lenten Passion. Draped in long, flowing, grayish robes and crowned with protruding green wreaths of thorns, the procession participants occupy three quarters of the height of the composition, filling our view. And yet, their hooded, blank, anonymous, reddish-orange faces seem to be the only exposed parts of their flesh, with their hands and feet completely hidden by their robes. Only the acolyte figure in black cassock and white surplice carrying the processional cross slightly off-center and to the right of the composition has a semblance of a unique identity. He is the sacristan, or altar server, that leads this somber procession. In addition to his unique attire, the almost uniform level of the orange faces suddenly dips downward drawing our attention to this sacristan as the head of the procession. However, he too is an anonymous, abstract, and faceless participant, identified only by his position as procession leader. To his left stands the only figure carrying a large crucifix representing the cross on which Christ is crucified every Good Friday. In the Catholic practice, it is the shared bearing of this cross by procession participants that takes place as part of the traditional stations of the cross. Zabel, as a Spanish-Filipino artist steeped in the Catholic traditions of his environment, understood the devotion and tradition in religious processions as an act or ritual of repentance and communion.